Exactly 10 years ago from the release of this video, I made my first appearance as Little Uppy on the internet. It was on a website called Blogger where you could essentially make your own blog, and this is it right here. But before we look into these posts that 9 year old me made, I wanted to talk about my unreleased Club Penguin series, The New CP Show. As a kid, I was really into Club Penguin, which if you didn't know, is this legendary MMO designed for kids. I went searching for Club Penguin related content online and stumbled upon what would become some of my favorite YouTubers, CP World, Think Noodles, CP Broadcast, Hat Pop and Shark Bait, and Nachos Rule. And one of my favorite types of videos was when people would make in-game stories where the penguins would interact with each other using text bubbles. That's all I watched for months on end, and I got really inspired to make my own series, which is when the new CP show idea spawned. I spent hours of my time drafting the series and different things I wanted to do with it, but it eventually never got released due to my extreme inexperience when it came to editing. I did try though, and I started making a pilot episode, which was sadly lost due to a virus I got in the second video on my channel when I tried to download a Minecraft skin. So the sole remnants of the show are this notebook, which contains drafts for a video game based on the show. Um, some pieces of paper that just contain like general drafts for episodes that I would have made. And this blog right here. I think at this point in time, I always wanted to make a blog, but I think the initial purpose of this was to promote the new CP show. I guess I didn't really know how to promote it, um, and this was the only way that I knew how. Also, if you take a look at the bottom of each of these posts, I made edits two years later. Um, that's because I felt guilty because I would just constantly lie on this site and I just felt so terrible about it that two years later I had to go back and just be honest with the world. So let's start off with the first post here. Hello everyone, my name is Little Uppy and welcome to the new CP Show blog. Here we keep you updated on all the new CP Show events. We will be making a 10 minute comedy once a month about the Uppy family. The first episode will be airing on YouTube sometime in late 2015. That was pretty far out from when I initially made this. I guess I realized that this was gonna take me a while, so I gave myself like a year and a half time window to be able to uh, start this. We will also keep you updated on parties and events that are going on in Club Penguin and Herotopia. Herotopia was just another like online MMO made for kids. Um, that one also shut down, um, unfortunately. Even in 2016, I was saying I still play Herotopia. Um, I think it closed down in like 2018, which was a year after Club Penguin. But I guess here I was kind of just telling people about the game and trying to get people like involved. I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty lame game in comparison to stuff like Club Penguin. And here I'm just introducing people to Club Penguin. And I also have this this phrase here, I talk about it in my edit, but penguins are cool was something that I said I think a few times throughout this blog. Um, it was completely ripped from the My Weird School series, which I remember the main character would just like say randomly sometimes. Here I'm introducing our first character other than Little Uppy, Bermuda 15, which in the timeline of the series was supposed to be like the little like newborn sister to Little Uppy. It was controlled by my mom. Um, so what I would have her do is I would have her like go on the blog and I would like tell her what like I would want her to write and she would write it on the blog. So yeah, this is Bermuda 15's very first post. I remember this day so clearly. I went um, in my basement, which is where I am currently, and I sat down with my mom at the computer, and I remember like coaching her through this and her like not wanting to do it at all. She probably had to go to work the next day, and I'm like, mom, I just I just want to do this post for, for my blog. And in the post, I had her talk about Pop Tropica, which was another just big MMO game at the time. Here I'm talking about Miniclip. I really loved Miniclip at the time. Whoa, this is what the website looks like today? Why are there only like three games? I remember playing this game with my cousin when I was younger. All right, I guess we're doing a, a pool game. Oh, these are real people, yeah. This guy's destroying me so far. I'm done. Oh, I'm cooked. This is gonna go crazy, watch this. Oh! Oh, I'm a legend. He's really gotta mess this up right now. What is he doing? I think he left the match. I guess we'll never know who wins this game of pool. But out of the web games, it's pretty much just Eight Ball and Agario that are left, which is kind of sad. Oh, and here we talk about Monkey Quest, and oh no, it literally shut down like right before I made this post, which I guess I didn't realize was going to be the fate of a lot of my favorite MMOs at the time, because just three years later, Club Penguin shut down. And something else here, I mentioned the Fetch CSI games. I loved those games as a kid, and I would love to make another video someday 
playing through those. I guess at this point, I'm just talking about like different games that I liked at the time. Oh, that's funny. Here, I'm upset that the school and skate party existed in Club Penguin because I wanted the medieval party to happen again. And I was super into like medieval stuff as a kid. And that was my first party in the game. And I guess I really enjoyed it. Oh, I said it, the medieval party wasn't actually my first party. It was. It was my first real party. Yeah, I played Club Penguin in late 2010 or whatever I said, but I was never into the game. And that was like my first like genuine memory playing the game and I had so much fun in that like 2013 medieval party. Now I'm more into Pokemon and iOS games. My favorite iOS games are currently Agario, Sling Kong, Mighty Smiteys, and Pokemon Go Team Valor. Oh my god, that's insane. Oh, whoa! This was released like a week after Pokemon Go came out. To this day, I still play Pokemon Go. Um, not as seriously as I used to, but I definitely play like once a week if I'm going on like a walk or something. Here I'm sharing cheat codes for Herotopia. Since school is starting, I don't think kids will check out this blog every day. Nobody was looking at your blog, bro. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I had my first meetup. So pretty much how a meetup would work is you would just go in a particular room on a particular server and just beg people for a postcard to be like, I met this important person in the community. I definitely got this from Think Noodles, who was, as I said before, was one of my favorite YouTubers at the time. And one of my biggest moments ever, like literally one of my favorite memories as a kid, was waiting for him to send me a postcard in the game. And uh, this really hilarious moment happened. And there's someone who's sad, but I'm not sure I can get to them. They're right under my book. I'm sorry, little, little uppy, little uppy. Oh wait, I think I got him. There we go, look at that, woo! <laughs> dressed as a postcard. What did I just say? Did I really just say dressed as a postcard? I know I did, I <laughs> dressed as a minion. And it also happened on my 10th birthday, which was such a cool moment for me. Okay, so here I talk about the meetup and uh, what happened. <laughs> this was the conversation that we had. Hey, are you here for the meetup? Um, what meetup? The new CP show meetup. Oh, okay, I could stay, sure. Dream Team leaves. Yeah, that's that's true. That's what happened. Hey everyone, it's Little Uppy again, and I'm kind of mad. I asked Inferno64 to post stuff all week as a surprise for you guys, but he forgot. Um, I would pretty much just make excuses constantly for why I wasn't posting, why I wasn't doing this, why I wasn't doing that, because um, I've talked about this a lot on my channel where I always felt like obliged to like hit certain deadlines. But Inferno64 was my friend Matthew who appears a billion times on this channel. I guess I was throwing him under the bus here, but that's not even the main part of this post, that's... <laughs> so here I announce the official release date for the new CP show, Friday, September 11th, 2015. 9-11! Scary, right? <laughs> I was going to post stuff about the bombing of 9-11, but I realized it was too deep for a blog about Herotopia and Club Penguin. I was freshly 10 years old when I made this post, so I didn't really understand what 9-11 was. I feel like I should have because I'm from New York and I was taught this like a lot as a kid. Or maybe 10 year old me was into conspiracies at the time and I just forgot. Here we go, the first post that wasn't by me, I remember giving him the uh, login details to the account uh, in school. I wrote it on a little piece of paper. I told him like when to post and how to post. Yeah, here's his post. Wow, okay, so this post is legendary right here. As I mentioned before, I just liked going through the internet and looking for Club Penguin related content. And I found a website called Old CP, which was pretty much just Club Penguin before it was bought by Disney and completely changed. This private server was made by a guy named Damon Spike, who is the creator of Snaildom, which went on to be one of my favorite games ever, and is the game I'm playing in my very first YouTube video on my channel. But yeah, this is how I found out about Snaildom, which is kind of crazy. Little Uppy got a new feature that lets a post be whatever color you want. No. <laughs> I just figured out how to do it. <laughs> I wanted people to think I was so cool. I knew how to code. I knew how to get these colors on here. Oh my God, this one's so funny. So in computer class, when I was in elementary school, um, we weren't allowed to play games, um, but like once a week, our computer teacher would allow us to play on a website called ABC Ya. It still exists, but it looks like all the games that I liked playing are gone. I used to play Sugar on here. I remember Drop Some, I definitely played that a bit. Yeah, I don't see any of the games that I used to play but it's cool that this website like 
still exists. Before season one of the new CP show is out, I'm announcing season two in 2016. Okay, so here I'm talking about songs in the new CP show. So another thing I was super inspired by was this thing called CPMVs, which stood for Club Hang on Music Videos. Um, super inspired by Nacho's Rule. I thought those videos were so funny at the time, and I definitely wanted to incorporate that into the new CP show somehow. But over here, I'm talking about the game that I mentioned before that I was drafting in this notebook right here. It never made it past that, unfortunately. Funny enough, like two years ago, I talked to my friend who was majoring in computer science at the time. If he knew how to code something that was like decent enough that I could actually make the new CP show game a thing. I wouldn't call it the new CP show, I would just completely rebrand it to something else, but the foundation for the game itself, in my opinion, was really interesting and had potential. It was based on this old Cartoon Network Flash game called Finn and Bones, and I just thought that it was such a cool and interesting concept, but they didn't like do anything with it, and I just wish like more was done. So that's why I wanted to make this game to kind of just have almost like DLC to Finn and Bones. So two months in, it's just me and Matthew posting on this blog with me holding my mom's hand and making posts. But now we have Icy Ocelot, which was uh, my friend Nick. I don't remember exactly what his role in the new CP show was, but I'm assuming that they were just friends of Little Uppy. Um, same goes for Inferno 64. But at the time, he didn't really understand like how to use a computer well, so we would pretty much just like talk about what we would post and I would just write it for him and write it in a style of like how he talked. So that's why I have like these like, oh man, like I guess that was just like a thing he said at the time. But this post was kind of cool because here we are introduced for the very first time to Snaildom. And the funniest part of this is I'm upset about this because I mentioned the old Club Penguin uh, private server was shut down for Snaildom, so I wasn't happy about this at the time. I loved playing on old CP, and I didn't want Snaildom to happen, but the more I played, the more I fell in love with it. Quick note from editing, I was definitely wrong about old CP shutting down for Snaildom. I think Damon just wanted to focus more on Snaildom and said that he wouldn't be putting as much of his time into old CP because I think some old CP servers are still active even today. And something else I realized was this post was in the perspective of my friend Nick, so this may have not been my original opinion because thinking back, I really don't remember ever being upset that Snaildom was a thing because I remember really enjoying it from the start, but I could be totally wrong about this and maybe this was my perspective back then. I think it's one of the most underrated games ever. I had so much fun with it, and I definitely talk about it a few times on this blog. Snailsies! Here I mentioned some of the people that were in Snaildom, which is kind of crazy to see here because even years later, I would interact with these people on um, the Damon Spike forums, which I think just shut down like last year. And even today, I'm in a Discord server. Um, I think it's called like the Damon HQ or something like that. And it's just a bunch of people who played Damon's games um, in this like 2013 to like 2016 era. Finally, I wanted to say that a new staff member named Cuddle Hero will be posting on Wednesday. So Cuddle Hero was me again. And I don't know why, but I really wanted to convince people not only like in the world of the new CP show, but in the real world that I had a twin brother that was British for some reason. Whoa, also the Snaildom Cinema opened. Oh my God, I'll never forget that day. Um, I think they aired like SpongeBob in there. It was an indie game, so they could pretty much do whatever they wanted. I also mentioned that the new CP show hit 500 views, which definitely wasn't real. It was just moderators that were just on the website. Whoa, Swiper Square. That's a name that I have not thought about in years. Um, Swiper Square was a joint Club Penguin account between me and like Inferno 64 and Icy Ocelots. I don't remember why we made it, but like we all just kind of used this account. Oh, you know what probably happened here? Matthew probably came over to my house and we were like, let's make a post. And we decided to do this together and we thought it would be funny to do it as like this Swiper Square character that we made. Now there are titles on the blog. I, I just didn't know how to use it at the time. <laughs> Around this era of like November, October 2014, Snaildom really seemed to uh, steal the limelight because in almost every single post, I feel like I'm mentioning Snaildom somewhere. Oh, and here I'm talking about the Cartoon Network games. Um, this was the website where I mentioned before I found uh, Finn and Bones. Oh yeah, I, I talk about it here. I recommend Finn and Bones. Yeah, great game. I actually replayed it like last year. Really great game. It's pretty funny that I'm promoting like TV channel websites. Like they have millions of viewers and I have like three. Okay, so I got a comment from someone and I was 
so happy. Three months into it, I got my first commenter and I made an entire post talking about them pretty much. Lane, if you're there, I will award you by giving a half hour with two new CP show staff members of your choice on either Snaildom or Club Penguin. I was so excited that someone was actually like reading my blog because at this point I had no concrete proof that anybody was actually reading what I was writing. But looking through it, I can't seem to find the comment from this person. Maybe it got deleted along with a uh, Google Plus. We have another game introduced here, Animal Jam. I loved Animal Jam as a kid. This is a funny story. I did a uh, tutorial on how to like complete this quest and snail them. And I remember like looking online on how to do it. And I actually stumbled upon my own post from years ago which is so crazy. Snaildom servers still go up every once in a while, so um, if they go up and you want to complete this quest, still to this day, this is a completely valid thing that you can still use. Whoa, okay, so Nets23 is another character that was by my friend uh, Brendan. Yeah, so I talk about it a little bit here, but he deleted what was my very first YouTube channel, technically. Um, it was a group channel between me, him, and one of our other friends. Every once in a while, it really upsets me because I would have liked to see, like, the first content I ever put on YouTube. Actually, technically, it could be the second, but that's a story for another day. Man, more snaildom. I have another blog? Whoa, okay. I'm having so much fun with this right now. Yeah, I made so many excuses here for why I didn't post, which is so sad because I don't know why I felt like I was, like, obliged to do this. This is real, by the way. Like, I had, like, some of the mods go in and, like, change anything that was incorrect, but, um... Yeah, I guess uh, he said there was nothing wrong with the, with the post. Okay, so apparently around here, I took over for my mom for Bermuda 15, and I just made them on my own. And I even mentioned here, I tried my hardest to act like a girl. Whoa, the new CP show- Oh no. We're still having problems with our blog! Hang it up, bruh. The funny thing is, I didn't realize all my posts had times under them. That, yeah, you can see what time I posted each of these, which is so funny because I would just like blatantly lie about like certain times I was posting these. Yeah, and here I'm coming clean about the fact that Cuddle Hero is not a real person. When I made a channel called Cuddle Hero Games, I was thinking that I was going to go onto Minecraft and talk in a British accent and hope I would become famous. That was the plan. That was fully the plan. This channel is now my new art, animation, and stop motion collab channel with a couple of my friends called The Ceramic Sumo. Want to see what this channel is today? This channel is now, um, UppyGD, which has been my Geometry Dash channel since 2018? I repurposed that channel a bunch of times, but, uh, its final form was, uh, UppyGD, and <laughs> it's going nowhere now. I, I really love that channel. That channel for me has by far been the most successful out of every single venture I had on YouTube. I just got sent this today, which is like a YouTube, um, LED looking thing. YouTube sent it to me for being a part of their partner program, which it's still so insane to me, and honestly, it made me a little emotional, because, like, even when I was, like, 10 years old here, I really wanted to be a big YouTuber, and I just didn't know how to get there, and I had so many different passions, and it's kind of crazy that all these years later, I eventually did get there, um, through Geometry Dash, even though it's not, like, you know, it's a massive channel. Little milestones, like, getting stuff like this just really makes me happy, and really makes me think that, like, little me would be, like so proud of the person I am today. So those were all my posts from 2014, which was a total of 55 over the course of four months. It was around here that I slowed down um, a lot. If you also look at the date here, December 22nd, 2014, this was right before I released my very first YouTube video on this channel, which was released on December 25th, 2014. As I mentioned before, I got a virus on my computer from installing a Minecraft skin, so my computer was out of service for a while, which caused this massive gap in posts here. Here I mentioned here, I eventually had to clear out the entire computer and I'm planning on selling it. That computer that I'm talking about is right here. This is it. This was my original computer from all those years ago. I made my very first YouTube video on here. But yeah, I never did sell it and it kind of just 
sits under my desk here. Here I'm making more excuses for why I'm not posting. And this was unofficially my last post on the new CP Show blog. So here I talk about releasing a preview for um, the new CP Show, which was um, the thing I was talking about before, where it was um, it was like a pilot kind of just to like test the waters of how I was going to make it. I started the preview for the new CP show, but my free trial for Camtasia ran out, and that is where I had it saved. I couldn't get it back until I bought it, which I never did. So yeah, that's true. Um, I think I could have found a way to open the file and actually do something with it. Um, but as I mentioned before, I had to completely wipe my computer after this um, because the virus was just really bad. So this is February 9th, 2015. I made a post in 2016 which was pretty much just me announcing that I was doing the edits to each of these posts, coming clean about all the things I had lied about. As you probably know, I've moved on to YouTube. So let me see what I was doing at this time, June 30th, 2016. Okay, so here's me on July 6th, 2016, a few days after I made this post. Um, I made my legendary, my aunt's new condo vlog. Hey guys, it's Little Up here today, and welcome to this video. Legendary video. Yeah, I guess I was kind of just gearing up to go 100% into YouTube and kind of leave my blog in the past. But yeah, that's the very last thing um, I did with this blog. Um, definitely at this point, I had been far past the point of, you know, feeling like I was ever gonna make the new CP show. I don't think I wanted to accept it because I remember being so sad when Club Penguin officially shut down because I always felt like this thing that I was passionate about, I really wanted to do and I never did. Um, you know, was never gonna become a reality. Also, the reason it's called The New CP Show was because there was a show already called The CP Show, and that was what I originally wanted, um, my show to be called, but, uh, to differentiate myself from the Club Penguin show, I made the new Club Penguin show. I'll never forget, I remember having a conversation with my uncle about, um, putting, um, this on TV, which is still so funny, and I remember him telling me that it costs, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars to air stuff on live TV, and being, like, so insanely shocked. I wanted to have my own channel, I wanted to have my own network. I was a dreamer, I had big plans for this. So it's kind of crazy to see like these dreams kind of just stayed here <laughs> on this blog. Oh, I found the Club Penguin Codes um, page. Uh, these all say active. <laughs> yep, they're, they're still active. It's kind of crazy. I've wanted to tell this story and make a video just like this for years. Um, but I just felt like now would be the perfect time since it has been 10 years since I made my first post here. And this year also marks my 10 year anniversary of making my first YouTube video on this channel, which I will obviously make a special video about when that time comes. It would be kind of crazy if one day I actually made like an episode of the new CP show based on some of my old drafts here. Maybe one day, who knows? Earnings, let's see the earnings. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is where I was getting the all time views. It was literally just me and my friends and that's it. But it's saying last month the blog got 10 views. It definitely wasn't me. So I guess 10 random people looked at this in the past month, which is so weird to think about. I am alive. <laughs> I set the blog post to go up um, with the release of this video, so if you want to check out this website, it's thenewcpshow.blogspot.com. Obviously, in this video, I didn't go through every single post I made on this blog, so if you kind of just want to take a look through it and uh, experience it for yourself, you can. Check out my first blog post in eight years, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.